Project Search. Hello, it's Danny again. I'm going to continue the presentation about snacking and vending machines that was started yesterday. This time we're going to take a closer look at the reasons why people choose unhealthy snacks and we'll also look at the contents of your typical vending machine and the costs of the products therein compared with snack items that you can get in other locations. Once again, I will ask that you pay close attention to this presentation. There are questions posed within it that I would like for you to think about so that you'll have some thoughts to share with the group when we get together to discuss this material. Project Search UTMC Remote Learning Snacking and Vending Machines, Part 2. Let's continue looking into snacking and vending machines. In the previous part of this presentation, we explored the reasons why people eat snacks. This time around, we will be addressing the following important questions about snacking and vending machines. What makes people want to make food choices that might not be healthy for them? Are there healthy snack choices in vending machines? Is using vending machines to buy snacks a wise way to spend your money? Why do people make unhealthy food choices? Let's take a look at some of the reasons. First, we're gonna look at advertising. We are bombarded by advertising throughout our lives. We encounter ads for food on TV, the internet, billboards, and magazines. Always remember that people who want you to buy their food products are out to make a profit. They don't always have your well being in mind. Don't assume that the foods you see in ads will be good for your health. See if you can think of a few advertisements you've seen for foods that you think maybe aren't very healthy. I'll bet all of you can come up with some ideas on that question. Be ready to share those ideas with the group. Now let's look at cravings. Foods that contain added sugar, salt, and fat can be addictive. If you find yourself craving a candy bar, potato chips, or french fries, it's because your body craves the sensation these substances provide. Cravings for these kinds of foods can be intense. If you want to beat those cravings and make healthier snack choices, then try to remind yourself that you will feel better and be in better health if you avoid the chips and candy and have an apple instead. Take a moment and see what reasons you can think of or remember for why it's better to avoid the junky, sugary, salty, fatty snack foods. We've talked about it a couple of different times and be ready to share your thoughts with the group. Next, we're going to discuss convenience. Another reason people sometimes choose unhealthy snacks is that it seems like the easier choice to make. You have to peel a banana, for example, but you can open a bag of chips in a split second. Also, it's easier to grab a bag of chips from a convenience store or vending machine than it is to get to a grocery store to buy fresh fruit and vegetables. This problem, however, can be solved by making a list of healthy snacks before you go to the grocery store. Stick to your list when you get to the store. Take your healthy snacks with you when you go places so you'll be less tempted to pick up the easier foods that are less healthy. Think about this one for a minute. Do you make a list before you go to the grocery store? And if you do, are you putting snack items on your list so that you're less tempted to go and buy things from a convenience store or a vending machine later on when you're feeling a little hungry? Be ready to share your ideas about this with the group. Next, let's talk about lack of knowledge. Educate yourself. Remember those nutrition labels we talked about a few weeks ago? Read them. People often eat unhealthy snacks because they don't realize they are making an unhealthy choice. Pay close attention to the amount of sugar and salt that are added to the foods you are considering buying. And quick tip, if the first ingredient on a food label is sugar, then it is almost certainly not a healthy snack choice. 
So maybe take a minute and think about the foods you like to snack on the most. And if those are packaged foods, you can look at the package and check the nutrition label. See how much sugar's in there? Maybe check out the sodium, which is salt. Look at the fat content, really check it out. Especially if it's a snack that you eat frequently. That way you're giving yourself the knowledge you need to make a healthier choice. So back to the old vending machine. Let's talk about just what types of products are in there. So vending machine contents. There are several items in a typical vending machine you should avoid, including gummies, cookies, honey buns, candy bars. All these foods are high in added sugar. Remember all the bad things sugar can do to your body? I advise that you go back and watch our video called Sugar and the Damage It Does, which is on the YouTube channel. Also in vending machines, you'll find that it's best to avoid those potato chips that are in there and nacho chips, because they're often very high in salt and fat. Come on, Danny, can't you say anything nice about vending machines? Okay, okay, I'll say a couple of good things. Some vending machines have bottled water. We all need water to survive, so there's that. Uh, vending machines are also nice to have around when you get stuck in a location longer than you thought you would be there and you really start to feel hungry. When that happens, however, do your best to find a snack that has as little sugar, salt, and or fat as possible, such as nuts and dried fruit. Now let's take a look at the prices. Buying snacks from a vending machine is not cheap. Take one example, the candy bar. The average candy bar from a vending machine will cost $1.25. However, you can buy a pound of bananas at the grocery store for about 70 cents. Typically, you get three bananas when you buy a pound of them. Imagine that instead of eating a vending machine candy bar a day for three days, you eat a banana instead. You would save over $3. If you continued choosing a banana each day for a month, you would save over $30. Of course, not all fruits are as inexpensive as bananas, but almost all fruit you buy at the grocery store will be cheaper than a vending machine candy bar. And fruit is a much healthier choice. I'm looking forward to talking about this with you guys when we get together and hearing your ideas about it. And until then, stay safe out there. Toodaloo.